do you want to learn how to remove some carpet pad but we're afraid to ask ask no more watch this video if you've just now joined me I just showed my other viewers that <laughs> you're probably one of my viewers too and if you are thank you so kindly for that but you missed me removing the carpet just punch in how to remove carpet or something like that in my search box on my channel and you'll find out how to do that we've already got that removed this is a carpet pad and I'm gonna start removing this and that's what this project is about we've got a hallway here we also have a little closet here okay and we've got a room a little bedroom here so if you want to learn how to do that stick around That's how we're going to remove this carpet pad. And I can leave this like halfway if I want. Because all I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look where all of the taped lines are. Chances are all their seams have a line and it's connected and attached with a piece of masking tape or something. Score that. Okay. Make sure it's up all the way like that okay we're gonna go around to all of the different rooms and we're gonna do that everywhere where you see this it makes it a lot cleaner than just starting to rip it because what happens is when you start ripping it it comes into shreds and then it's harder to roll up it takes a while longer to get everything taken care of okay do a good job Just carefully look and you should be able to see the joint between the two pieces of carpet pad through the masking tape. And see, I got my blade stuck halfway out and I don't have to push it straight down and screw up the tip of my blade or have my blade all the way out. I can just do it halfway. All I'm doing is cutting the tape on the top, okay? I'm not, I'm not cutting through anything else. That's all I'm doing here. That's it, okay? Now go through and do all of the other areas. And, and it's not that much, okay? You're not going to see that in, in many spots. But wherever it is, I'm going to cut it. Now sometimes, not all, they might have a piece of masking tape that's, that's taped right over the top of your tack strip and you can just take that and just score that. Leave the rest of the tape onto the tack strip. We don't care about that, okay? And you don't have to kneel down. If you've got bad knees or something, you don't have to kneel down. Just pin down there and see where that is. Have a steady hand and try to go right where the where the joint is. If you get squiggly, just, that's all right. Just look at it, kind of eyeball it as you go, okay? Anybody can do this. Sheetrock knife, I like the retractable ones. I don't like the ones that just stay out the whole time because then I can retract it halfway, let's say. It's caught right there and that's what I'm gonna use. And when I get done, I'm gonna go all the way. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it right there. Look where my line is, I eyeball it, I see where the joint is between the two pieces of pad. I'm just going to score it right on top of that masking tape. Bad Joe. Last thing you want to do is if you have any extension cords out, don't place them on this tack strip, even gently, because you've got all those little pins sticking up out of there. And if somebody steps on your cord or, or you pull the cord and it catches on one of those, it could rip, it could electrocute you, or it could mess up your extension cord or whatever. Okay? Be careful of that.